In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable taxes on Stan so that you can collect taxes and pay them to the correct authorities. So this is really simple in Stan and they have it set up so that you can easily collect sales tax on your products when you sell them. So to do this, you'll log into Stan, of course, and you'll be on your homepage and then you'll go down to settings in the left side menu, click on that. So that will bring you to your account settings and you start on profile. You are going to want to go over here to click on payments and then on payments, you're going to scroll down to the very bottom. Here it says enable taxes and automatically calculate and collect tax on your product. So you're going to enable that. And then here you're going to enter your tax address. So this is where you're located because where you are located and where your customer is located is what determines the sales tax. So you will need to add the place where your business is located. So I'm going to do that and then click update. So you enter your address and then you click update and that will just add the information to Stan so that they can automatically do these calculations for you. So once you have added your address, it will do a couple things. First, it will register where you need to collect sales tax based on your address. So for me, I am located in Tennessee, so it has set me up to collect sales tax on items that I sell in Tennessee. And then I pay my sales tax to the government in Tennessee. Depending on where you are, it will be different for you. So if you want more info on this, you just click any of the little question marks on Stan and it will show you where they collect sales tax and how it works. And they have a lot of information about enabling it, exporting it and paying in your country. So definitely check that out, read through that. And if you need help, you can also contact an accountant or Stan themselves. Once you set this up, it will calculate and collect the sales tax for you, but it doesn't automatically pay it to where it needs to go. So you will have to have outside help for that. But the next thing that Stan does is basically give you the option to do inclusive tax or exclusive tax. So if you select inclusive, your final price is going to be $20, but your product price is actually $17.50 and then $2.50 is tax. So the customer won't really know how much they're paying in tax because the final price is still gonna be $20. If you do exclusive, this is going to show the $20 price and then they will be shown $250 for taxes. So the final price will be $2250. So you can select either one. It really depends on what you think your customers will want to have as their experience and what kind of experience you want them to have and what kind of business you want to have basically. So you can do inclusive or exclusive. It really kind of depends on if your customer base is used to paying taxes on top of product prices, which most people in the US are. So that might be the best option for you. Or if you're in another country or another location where it doesn't quite work that way, you might want inclusive. Either way, you need to select one of these options. So that's everything you need to do to enable sales tax to be collected on your products in Stan. It is very, they have made it very easy, but you do need to know about sales tax in your location and how that works. So I'm not a tax professional. Definitely check with one before you are collecting and paying sales tax. It's very helpful to have someone on your side who is a CPA and can help guide you through that process. If you have not subscribed yet to Create With Pennies, I highly recommend you do because we have more videos on Stan, how to use it, how to make money from it, and definitely watch this video next.